talk a little bit about what it is about this genre that is so appealing to you? Well, it's a funny thing because, you know, the genre of Super 8 is such a combination of things. Um, you know, it's a, it's a coming-of-age movie. It's a story like First Love. It's, mm -hmm. you know, a mystery. It's a little bit of a monster movie. It's, you know, it's a comedy. The friends are ridiculous. Um, but overall, to me, the thing that was important was that the movie have heart and that there be, you know, uh, a message and, and something that had some feeling to it. And uh, so as much as I love science fiction, as much as I love monster movies and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. the only thing I really cared about was serving the emotional story in the movie. And so for me, that is true kind of no matter what apparent genre the film is. Okay. Now, as a writer, where did your inspiration for this particular piece come from? It just began as a, a desire to go back in time and, and revisit being a kid, making, you know, stupid movies on Super 8 film with your <laughs> friends. And uh, it was, it, that's really where it began. It became a story about this kid who experienced this loss, having lost his mother um, uh, in an accident and being left with a father he never really connected with. And that was really, to me, the interesting thing. Like, what happens when you lose a primary parent and, and you know, if you're lucky to have another parent, now you're stuck with that one, and what is that relationship? How do you reconcile that? And then there's the you know idea of this first love, which to me is always a key thing in a movie. Like, what's the love story? I'm always looking for that. Um, and then the idea of, of this creature, this monster, really just came later as a way to sort of make physical uh, this struggle that kid's going through inside this thing that's scary that's out there that he's got to confront, you know, that he's got to sort of face off with and either survive or not. Um, and that to me was was kind of, it provided the kind of the inevitability that the movie needed. Okay. Now you and Spielberg are kind of masters at this. There's no even word for it. It's not a genre, this whole rom-com, sci-fi, coming of age thing. Uh, can you talk about the, the coolest part about collaborating with him on this project? I do think that he is, you know, the master at that. And I think that, you know, I'm just sort of playing in his, uh, the playground he built. And, the, you know, for me, it, it was, part of it was a story I really wanted to tell. Part of it was really wanted to work with him and being able to. And I, I got to say, uh, you know, it's the thing that he does and, and makes look easy and is really not, which is to combine these elements to, you know, have spectacle coexist with the mundane. You know, that's something that's, uh, you know, it, it, it was amazing fun to work with him, a real privilege. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Right. Good to see you again.